Hello, this time I'd like to introduce a simple single-use command called StaggerTween. As you can see from the menu, there's no shortcut key associated with StaggerTween because we consider it to be one of those that are a little less frequently used. Regardless of how frequently StaggerTween is used, it has very specific uses. Now let's look at this uh, hippopotamus which uh, I have animated some time ago. The voiceover says ha ha ha, so basically he's, um, he is laughing. This is the antic for the laugh and this section here as you can see the animation goes back and forth in a stagger manner. If we look at the actual easing graph you could see it's a zigzag stagger graph that describes this back and forth movement of the hippopotamus. It affects all the elements in the whole figure and is basically very easily achieved with only two keys. So we have a, an up key and a down key and instead of having a smooth transition between these two keys we go back and forth and we get a nice convincing laughing uh, movement. I'll just hit enter so that we can see this. I've set up a little example file here and I will walk you through how to use StaggerTween. There are a couple of keys here. The robot lifts a leg and then uh, settles and then just goes back to normal position. I'll convert these keys to classic tweens and then give them 100% easing. And now we have, we have the animation, we can test it to have a look. Okay, now I'd like to apply a stagger to this portion of the animation. I'll choose stagger tween from the commands menu and this is how the stagger dialog looks like. If there's already a tween, it offers us two options, whether to use the existing easing or a couple of presets like easing, ease out or linear. There are several different strengths. It just depends how slanted the zigzag is or how large the amplitude between the individual keys is. And then we can taper and we can choose several different patterns, whether it will go back and forth on every frame or there will be one forward and one backward and so on. Now I'll just I'll just use the default settings. I chose medium. As you can see the frames got marked with a comment called stagger just to make it clear uh, and very obvious when we look at a tween that it's a stagger tween. If we drag the playback head, you can see the robot goes back and forth a little bit. We can, we can have a look at the zigzag here. If we'd like to edit manually, uh, we can just add more strength to the stagger. You can see it still eases out towards the second key. I'll say OK and now we can just play back and have a look at our animation. So the robot looks as if he has a bit of rusty joints and he's just trying to move um, unsuccessfully or uh, maybe he's electrocuted. It doesn't really matter. But any kind of strain or any kind of laughter uh, matching specific parts of voiceovers, it's extremely handy and it's very easy to apply even if you need to edit the graph later. This is pretty much all about StaggerTween. Thanks for watching.